Live from San Francisco, celebrating 10 years of high-tech coverage, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2019. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Well, we are in Moscone Center North here in San Francisco, the city by the bay, gorgeous day outside, day two of our coverage here on theCUBE of VMworld 2019. I'm John Walls with John Troyer. John, good to see you today. Oh, great to be here with yep. you. Good for day two. Uh, we have uh, a couple of uh, authors with us today, uh, both from VMware, Rosa Lear, who is the Director of uh, Marketing at Velo Cloud in the business unit there. Uh, Rosa, thank you for being with us. Thank you. I appreciate that. And Dave Twynham who is the Director of Systems Engineering in that business unit at VMware. And this is the book that they have collaborated on, I think with 12 others, I think there were 14 mm -hmm. uh, who uh, came together on this project. It's called SD-WAN One-on-One, The What, The Why, and The How. This is going to answer all those riddles, all those puzzles that you have about, you know, how does software define wide area network work? Uh, what are the, where are the pitfalls? Where are the challenges? What are we going to do to solve our problems? So, Folks, what was the genesis of this? I mean, uh, it's a hefty thing for it sure. Is, yes. Uh, and really well illustrated, so we'll get into that a little bit. But what was the genesis of this? Rosa, if you would first, what drove you to put this together? Sure, there are a lot of books out there on the market that are focused on SD-WAN because it's such a hot topic. But what we saw was a big deficit on how does it actually work, getting down into that second, third layer of what people are looking for. So it's not so superficial, they really want to know how does it work? How do I integrate it into my network? What are the steps that I go through? So it's not a user manual, but it definitely gives you that deep perspective of what SD-WAN can provide and how to implement it into your network. And, and then, and so then the target audience would be who? Uh, network engineers, we've also got stuff in here for, for the business owner, so CTOs. We actually have two characters that help outline a lot of the comments, or a lot of the, the meat of the book. One is Alvina, she's the CTO, so she really describes what her business needs are. And then there's Rodney, who is her uh, network engineer, who actually implements this, the architect. So it's told from their perspective, and, and really introducing each of the chapters and the concepts and the takeaways. Well, so Dave, uh, as, you, uh, as you've been doing this, and you're talking to customers out there, you know, what's the state of the art here with, where, where are we in the, in the evolution of SD-WAN? It's kind of a noisy space from my perspective. Also, you know, from a VMware perspective, uh, this brings the VMware out of the data center into the network and network edge and the, and the wide area network. So can you just talk a little bit about what are the problems people are seeing and, and that, they're, that they're solving with SD-WAN and why are network engineers uh, interested in, in taking this as their bedtime reading? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, clearly what we're seeing in the marketplace is that there is a lot of noise out there. There are a lot of vendors that are in the SD-WAN space. Uh, I think it's important to note, though, that we are number one. Uh, that's always a good place to be, and so while VMware is a newer, you know, kind of entrant into the wide area market in particular. We already have a leadership position via the VeloCloud acquisition, um, and obviously the continued enhancements to the portfolio from there. So th the reality is that, you know, SD-WAN, it's kind of funny we have the why at the beginning of the book. More and more customers are actually aren't asking the why, right? They know why they need it, which is it is the natural evolution of their wide area infrastructure. They know that software is the future. That's why we're here at VMworld, because we're all about software, and understanding how they can evolve to meet those business challenges in a software framework versus the traditional rip and replace hardware-based model of the past. And, and you're on one side of the equation, obviously. Uh, you're on the, you know, you're, you're supplying this information, supplying the services, developing the solutions, whatever. I mean, how much listening do you do to the other side to put together something like this? Because I would assume you have to, you have, to have a real sense of what the problems are and uh, what the questions are, you know, what is the what, what is the why, what is the how that's going on on the customer side of this? I mean, tell me about that process, if you will. Sure, so one of the, the unique parts of this book is that with these uh, other authors that we brought in to put this book together, and we did this within five days, which was a, a great project, but we really took the people out of the field. So these are the, the engineers that help create this book are the ones that are shoulder to shoulder with the customer, helping them the implementation, talking to them about how they actually implement this. So they talk to the customers. This is brought out from the field. It's not some guy sitting in an ivory tower talking about what you should do. 
this is actually what you should do because this is the best practice, this is what we hear from customers, this is what works best for all of the people that we've implemented SD-WAN with. And you did this in five days? Five days, so we hired a company. How that, many of you, 14? Uh, there was 15, 15 of us. 15. 15. 15. In five days, what, you're locked up for yes. 24 hours around the clock? I think. Yep. Well, I, I read, you went to Miami, I remember that, mm -hmm. but I didn't realize it was in that compressed of a time frame. Oh yeah, it was, it was great. I mean, we all learned, I think, a lot because we come from different geographies, we came from different deployment models and so forth, and yeah, we just uh, got, all got together. I, I love the idea of the book sprint, and you, so you've captured a moment in time of the technology, of the marketplace, but you said this isn't a dummies book, is it an intro, this isn't a, uh, nor is it a how-to manual, right? It's not a product manual. So I'm thinking uh, you, it's, it should be somewhat conceptual and have a lifespan of more than just the latest release of anything, right? Is that part of the goal here? Absolutely. Is this going to have a lifespan? Absolutely. Okay. I mean, what, what do you envision? Again, so it, it's interesting, you're both engineering and you said the, the CTO, the CXO level, can get some understanding of, of why some things are going on. Is that Sure, you, know, you think about it from a you know, CXO perspective, right? What are the business challenges that that individual sees, right? They don't necessarily care about the bits and bytes of networking underneath. They know that they need a network, but they also know that it's a really expensive part of their budget. So they need to understand how does it actually support the business and ultimately, right, what, how can they do more with it? And ideally, what we always hear is do more with less, right? So how do we get to that point? And understanding then, so that's one need that comes from the business side. Well, how do we complement that from the technical side of things, right? How do we solve those problems? Problems, but the reality is we're not solving technical problems just to solve technical problems. We're solving them to actually meet the needs of the business. And so kind of seeing both sides and how they come together is, is critical to it. And I think that's something that we tried hard to put into the book. Yeah, when you have a collaboration like this and you said you brought 15 people together, um, I'm sure there has to be some disagreement at some point, right? Or some discussion. So, so what were some of those points that came up where somebody thought that perhaps maybe a little more attention here, maybe a little less attention there, maybe maybe this is something we should bring. No, let's not talk, touch that base. I mean, how about those discussions, that back and forth, and how did you settle that with so many people in the room? So one of the things that we first outlined when we started this process was that this is a safe space that nobody is really wrong, because we're also bringing in different perspectives here. So we we definitely all decided that we're going to treat each other respectfully. There was a lot of arguments here and there about certain things, but we all are professionals, so we all, you know, we figured out what the right thing was to do. But, so, so let's talk about the order, let's talk about how you, how you dealt with it, the what's and the why's, you said why almost didn't make the cut, uh, but, but did, you know, it makes the, the, the dress rehearsal and, and the publishing. Um, how, how do you put together something like this that, that is not a user manual, that's the first thing I thought of. I thought, okay, you're going to show me what SD-WAN's all about, how am I going to deploy it, uh, you know, VMware's services or solutions, rather, on my network. Uh, but that's not what this is all about, mm -hmm. right? So how did you parse that? How did you decide this is the direction we're going to go and not just make it a how-to for people or a dummies? So we already have a dummies book, so you should check that out. There's also a PDF on our website, velocloud.com. So we needed another layer, another book that would go deeper on that. Um, we needed something that, uh, I mean we can always write a user manual. Anybody can sit in a room and put that together. But we wanted something that was different, that was actually going to, I guess, comfort customers who were looking at the solution, give them the right idea that this is what they need, and also what they were going to get into. You know, that's a big question is, you don't understand what the implementation is going to be like until you're in it. So this gives you that view. So you can use it as a, a pre-customer read or you can use it post-sales and really help uh, define what you need to do when you're implementing. Nice, nice. We're, so we're here at VMworld 2019. This is my you know, millionth VMworld. Very interesting, a lot of talk at the top level, apps and Kubernetes and that sort of stuff. At the bottom level, so networking and a lot of other things that maybe the traditional you know, admin, vSphere admin, already kind of a silo buster from, from old roles is already here, but sometimes when the networking folks talk with the, with the uh, server folks, or they, the words mean different things, or they're di slightly different tribes, say. You know, when, I, when, a, when one app performance, right, it, in an SD-WAN context, may, may mean something completely different than app, than performance in a, in a data center 
uh, server context. So uh, you're here at the show, you've got the, the, the network edge zone down in the show floor, so you've got some booth there, you've got activities, you've got obviously a lot of breakout sessions. How have, how have the networkers mixed with the admins? How has it been, and, and y'all are from VeloCloud, which has been with VMware for? Almost two years in two December. Two years, right? Yeah. So I mean, talk a little, both about that integration, both at corporately and you know, here at the show. You want to go first? Sure, so the, I mean the book is, I mean the event has been fantastic for us. We are getting a lot of traction. We actually did a book signing for this book yesterday with six of the authors. 96 books are gone. Um, and I, I feel like the conversations are really migrating to the networking space, the wide area networking space, rather than just data center. Um, you're right, there's a lot of overlap in the technology and the lingo and jargon, um, but I, th I think that if we know what we're talking about in terms of wide area networking, I think those conversations can easily be budged or gapped. And, and just I would add, so I've been at VMware about five years now, so I was on the NSX team prior to moving over to the Velo team. And so five years ago, like, there was virtually no presence of networking. Right? We were the only networking people here for the most part, and that's really changed substantially. And this year in particular is the first year where there are a lot of networking folks that are roaming the halls here, right? Whether it's understanding the NSX side of the house or whether it's SD-WAN, it's a significantly greater presence than there's ever been previously. So you know, the other piece is realizing, I mean, we're, we're a networking company now and a security company, right? Those components are integral as a part of the solution, and so the, the makeup has actually begun to change a little bit, and there's more commingling than there's ever been before in this space. Do you touch on security in the book? Absolutely, there's an entire chapter on it. So CISO might be interested as well. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so the book I, I've seen is for purchase here on site. Yes. Go ahead, and in case somebody's watching and they're here, tell them where they can get it. Go to the VMware bookstore, it's in uh, Moscone West. And then we also will be making it available on Amazon starting next week. All right, so here's again a, a look at the, the book, SD-WAN, one-on-one, -on -one, the what, the why, and the how. Rosa, Dave, thanks for being with us. Congratulations on uh, maybe, I assume, first book? For me, yes. Third for me. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. A practiced hand. All right. <laughs> first Ringer. sprint, though. Not fair. All right, thank you both. Appreciate the time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Back with more continued coverage here on theCUBE of VMworld 2019.